Hi guys, it's Anne here, and today's video is my BoxyCharm unboxing for February. If you are watching this video, thank you, because I'm probably the last person on earth who is unboxing their BoxyCharm on YouTube. I'm in Canada, so it takes a little bit longer to get to me, and I also ordered this a little bit late. Um, I decided to purchase the February box because I, I know it's actually technically in this, except for maybe not specifically. I'm pretty sure all of the boxes have the, oh, breathe, breathe. <sighs> I'm really tired. What I was saying was, pretty much know what's in this box. I bought it specifically because it has the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, which is a mascara that I do want to try out. And specifically, I want to try out because I have a brand new, um, oh my gosh, L'Oreal Lash Paradise that I haven't opened yet. So I want to do like a head-to-head -head comparison between the two mascaras to see if they really are uh, dupes for each other, if they perform the same, etc., etc. So that is why I got the February Boxy Charm box. I'm on a month-to-month -month subscription, so I don't know if I'll get the March one, if I'll continue this or not. I haven't got Boxy Charms since 2017 was the last time I got it, and I only got it for three months then because it is a bit pricey. It ends up being about $35 Canadian. I'll put the exact price. Uh, on the screen and it was kind of a good deal in terms of I was gonna buy the mascara anyway or was interested in buying mascara anyway which is $31 Canadian so let's see here so the theme is afterglow which everyone already knows and it's got all the stuff in here there's also another reason why I wanted to buy this um, so let's just get this out of the way it's the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara this is the reason why I bought this. It's heavy. That's interesting. It's much more solid than I expected. The other reason why I wanted to get this was this was another product that I was going to buy. It is the No Pore Blem Primer from Touch and Soul. I think this retails for about $18 Canadian. So again, it made this a good deal for me because those are two products that I was going to buy anyway. This I'm interested in trying, and actually really interesting that I got this in BoxyCharm because I'm pretty sure this product was in some people's Lucky Bag, and it wasn't in my Lucky Bag. Lucky Bag, luckily. Um, this is the Pharmacy Clean B Ultra Gentle Facial Cleanser. So I'm pretty excited to try this. I did see this, I'm pretty sure it was this product, or at least it was a pharmacy um, product that was in some people's Lucky Bag that was like, oh, that would have been nice to get. Much better than the stupid cleanser I got last year. Don't want to talk about that one. And this is a Trustique. Oh, that's interesting. Primer inside. Trustique Prime and Lip Color Lip Glaze in English Rose. So anyway, this is in the shade English Rose. Actually, it looks somewhat similar to what I'm wearing now. I don't know. Let me swatch it. Yeah, it does. It actually looks really similar to what I'm wearing right now, which is Bites Rhubarb. So that's it right there. It's an interesting little shape on that, too. It's like a sort of square-ish. I don't know how to explain it. Interesting shape. I don't think I have anything like that. Ooh, it's magnetic, too. Oh, yay. That's fun. So I don't know. No, that's the primer, which... I'm not sure I really seem to care about this. It looks like the primer. I've got a primer from NYX, and I don't use it. I don't know. I don't know. I, I have it in my daily makeup thing. I never use it. Oh, we'll give that a go. Oh, there's something else in here. Oh, pretty vulgar. Great. Slightly disappointed. Don't want to say I'm super disappointed, but I'm slightly disappointed. I'm glad it's you know, pretty vulgar product. I've never used this before, but I was really, really hoping to get a bronzer because almost all of my bronzers are in my project pan right now, and it looks like I got, I can't open it, it looks like I got a highlighter. Yes, Shimmering Swan, which is fine. Um, I just don't really need a highlighter. It looks pretty. Um, let's see if you swatch on the back of my hand. If we can, it looks very subtle. Like very subtle. I'm not even sure. Yeah. So there you go. There you can see it. So that's okay. I mean, like I said, I'm 
not thrilled about it, but still a nice product. And I'm pretty sure this is like ridiculously expensive. Like I probably never would have bought this uh, individually. So yeah, nice little box. I'll uh, add up all the different things. There's the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, the No, no oh my gosh, No Problem Primer, which again, interested in trying this. I have a bunch of primers right now that I am still like testing and trying to determine really which ones do I like. So I want to do like a head-to-head -head primer challenge, uh, particularly uh, pore filling ones because I have a lot of texture um, all over my cheeks. The Pharmacy Queen B and the Tristique lipstick, which I'm really, really excited to try this. Um, I had a Tristique lipstick ages ago and I got rid of it because it was just like a little tiny one from Ipsy. And I I think it was like a red color or something. No, it was like a beige color. It was like, mm, it does not look good on me. Um, and then the pretty vulgar highlighting thing. So, yay. So that's my boxy charm. Um, I'm also going to open <laughs> uh, an indigo package because I just picked it up. It just came in the mail. So I feel like I just need to make this slightly more exciting. Uh, everyone's boxy charm has already been done. Mine's clearly not anything new at this point. Um, so, I ordered a couple things from Indigo, which I don't know what the equivalent of Indigo in the States would be. Uh, Arms and Noble? Arms and Noble still exist? But I'll have a gripe with Indigo for two reasons. So first of all, I wanted to buy a little notebook for going on a trip to Peru. This is like a little sketchbook. Um, it has no lines or anything, it's just like white page sketchbook. I'm um, sorry, it's hard to see because the reflective packaging. I got it in purple and I wanted to get some pens. So they had some mini pens in a pack there and I wanted a mini pen because I thought that would be good for travel. Just have a little mini pen. And there was a set of five. You can't buy an individual package of pens on Indigo's website. How stupid is that? I had to buy two. I'm like, if I buy two, then I will have ten mini pens. And that is ridiculous. So kind of annoyed at that. And the second thing was, so I bought the book, the sketchbook, and then I bought in two books, uh, two paperbacks for $15, which is not a bad deal. Um, I usually buy a lot of books from a charity sale that happens around here, but I wanted to pick up a new book for Trip to Peru. And when I was checking out, it had my notebook, and then it had like this big ad for like, do you want to buy an umbrella? And I was like, where are the other items? This is on my laptop, so like that's how big the ad was. It was taking up so much room that I had to like scroll down and then see the rest of my cart. Fucking stupid. So Indigo, you annoy the crap out of me sometimes. So anyway, the two books that I got was the Dan Brown Origin and Nathan Ripley Find You in the Dark. Um, well, this is like a thriller style uh, book. Uh, so a guy that was. Uh, buying police files and serial killers and using them to locate uh, long lost victims. And then this is just like a typical, I think this is almost exactly just like, um, oh my god, The Da Vinci Code and Angels and Demons, like the same sort of thing. Robert Langdon basically discovers some sort of thing and then has to crack a code and runs around Europe with some beautiful woman and solves the problem. That's kind of why I bought this. I knew it was going to be a cookie cutter book and I wanted something that was kind of light reading. Uh, for, for me for my trip. So I'm not sure which one I'll take. Um, but yeah, so that's it. That was my little uh, indigo purchase as well. So two books and this little notebook. And that's my video. That's my boxy charm and my little indigo purchase. I hope you like this video. Sorry, I look like crap. Like I said, end of the work day. Just wanted to unbox these before I lost my light. And I hope you have a fabulous day. If you like this video, feel free to give it a little thumbs up down below. And I would love it if you subscribe to my tiny little channel here in Toronto, Canada. I hope you have a fabulous day, and I'll see you sometime soon. Bye.